All right, so I'm Mr. Brooks from the GMS North Carolina. Came back to another video. Before we go any further, we're going to all praise on and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Makakwadash. The bonus to our apostle and elders, the great millstone, we're teaching us the truth. According to the Bible, rule well, and peace and blessings so for like the nation of Israel today through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Shai. You know, basically just going to go in <coughs> into the spirit of the prophecy, you know. In that the men, you know, the, the elder apostle to heart deemed this year as the spirit <coughs> 2020, the spirit of prophecy. And that's the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Shai. That's the spirit that we as men, the Lord, as true as prophets of the Heavenly Father, are supposed to be in. Why? Because that is the spirit that Yahweh Shai is in, you know. This is uh, Revelation chapter 9. And I'm sorry, nine. And he saith unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, These are the true sayings of the Most High. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Yes, so you're going to be in the spirit of prophecy if you're claiming to have the testimony of Yahweh by Shema Shai. If you claiming to have, you know, this knowledge, claiming to, you know, be a sent from the Lord, you know, you come in to do his will, then what you are going to be prophesying. This is Second Ezra 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou unto the ears of my people, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the words of prophecy. Yes, so the Lord has commanded his prophets to speak into the ears of his people the words of prophecy. It means to tell you something that's going to happen before it happens. So we go out there on the highways and byways, week in and week out, and we warn our people. We tell them to repent, just like the prophet uh, Jonas, you know. He went to Nineveh. He told them that they, if they didn't repent, the Lord was, was going to destroy this place. And what? They repented, you know? So that's what we're telling our people to do. That So what? So that they can repent and avoid this judgment. And it reads, Behold, speak thou into the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Yes, yeah, so the, word has, the Lord has put our his words in our mouths and caused them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. Yeah, these words, the scriptures, the the words of the Holy Bible are faithful and true. I mean, what? They're going to come to pass, you know? And you got a lot of these mockers and scoffers which think the Lord is going to be prolonged. Look, the Lord is making good on his promise, you know? That's why we're out there speaking these words. This is uh, Ezekiel 12 and... And I started at 21, and the word of the Lord came known to me, saying, Son of man, what is that proverb that you have in the land of Israel, saying the days are prolonged in every vi vision fell of? Yeah, you know, that proverb, the Lord is causing that proverb to cease right before your very eyes, you know? Everyone is uh, on an, on the edge of their seat, you know, worried about if World War Three is going to happen. It is going to happen. Why? Because it's according to Bible, biblical prophecy, Bible prophecy. Revelations 11 and 14, behold, the second world was passed, and the third world cometh quickly. The second world being World War Two, and the third world being World War Three, and it's coming quickly. So the, tell them, therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. Yeah, the Lord is causing these proverb, that proverb to cease, you know. The Lord is bringing his words to pass right before their very eyes you know and some people are still in doubt some people don't believe the um <coughs> this is gonna happen some people don't believe that world war three is gonna happen it is gonna happen all hell is gonna break out in the america you can you can um you can bet all your chips on that you can go all in on that happening because it will but say unto them the day is at hand in the effect of every vision yeah the day is at hand you know we're at the end of America. Our salvation is closer than when we first believed, you know? Verse 24. 
For there shall no more be any vain visions, nor flattering divinations within the house of Israel. For I am the Lord, I will speak the word. For the for I am the Lord, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. Yeah, how is he speaking? You know, um, through his prophets, you know, and it shall come to pass, meaning what? In, in, in the near future, it's going to happen. It shall no more be prolonged for in your days, yeah, in your days, in your lifetimes, like it tells you in Matthews uh, 24 and 34, for this generation shall not pass to all things uh, be fulfilled. You know, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall never pass away. So it says, for in your days, O rebellious house, you know, it's talking about the wicked of our people. In your days, you're going to have to face this judgment. You're going to have to face, um, you're going to have to face being hauled off into concentration camps, going days upon weeks without food, water, um, you know, a, a, a bath. You know, these are things you're going to have to face. And before the Lord brings these things, he spend, he sends his, the, the prophets out there to warn you about them. It says, for in your days, a rebellious house, will I, will, will I say the word and will perform it, saith the Lord Yahweh. And again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, behold, the house of Israel say the vision that he seeth is for many days to come. And he prophesied for of times that are far off. Yeah, these are the guys. Like, World War Three does happen, you know. It's probably not going to happen anytime soon. You know, Iran's not dumb enough. To go up against, you know, the United States. So, you know, there's probably, there probably tensions are just going to cool down. You know, it's probably be another Cold War. And then we might go into World War Three. You know, we might, in about 10, 20, 30 more years. I don't think anyone's dumb enough to do a nuclear war. But that's not what the Bible says. It says, Son of man, behold, there the house of Israel say, The vision that he seeth is for many days to come. And he prophesied of a times that are far off. Therefore say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, There shall no, there shall none of my words be prolonged any more, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith the Lord Yahweh. Yeah, the words that Yahweh by Shema Shai is speaking through his prophets, you know, which are prophesying out there on the highways and byways, which have which have the testimony of Yahweh Shai shall come to pass. Can you have other guys prophesying? You know, but what they're telling our people lies. They're not telling our people the truth. Deuteronomy 18 and 18. I'm going to uh, read on down. I'm going to start 18 though. And it says, I will raise them up a prophet from among thy brethren. Now this prophet is talking about Lord Yahweh Shai. You know, this is Lord Yahweh Shai being prophesied in the Old Testament. You know, for you, for you Old Testament only junkies, you know. And you New Testament only junkies. The Lord is right here. He comes in the volume of the book. It says, I will raise them up a prophet from among thy brethren, like unto thee, and I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I should command him. And it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which he speak in my name, I will require it of him. You know? So look, if you're not, and what we, <coughs> what does it tell you in St. Luke 10 to 16? He that hear of you, hear of me. You know, he that despise of you, despise of me. You know, so if you hear us out there on the highways and byways, you're hearing Lori Howishai. You know, because Lori Howishai sent his men whom the Most High has chosen from the foundation of the earth to, uh, to go out there on the highways and byways and preach this word and to prophesy. It's, and it was also tell you in Luke, and he that despises me despises of him that sent me. So you're despising the Heavenly Father if you're despising the Lord and ultimately if you're despising us. I'm going to be verse 19 again, and it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which he shall speak in my name. And you know, are we not speaking? In the, look, did not the Lord Yahweh shall come speaking in the name of the Heavenly Father? And are we not speaking in the names of Yahweh by Shema Shai? I will require of it. But the prophet which, which presumed to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or that shall speak in the name of other gods, even that prophet shall die. Yes, yeah, so these false prophets, that are, some of them are coming in the name of the Lord, but what they're they're very prideful. They're they're teaching our people false doctrines. They're teaching for envy and strife because they want clout. They want to be uh, exalted above Lord Yahweh Shai. Because that's ultimately what it is. 
They want to be exalted above the Lord's ministry and what he has uh, established down here on this earth. It says, even that prophet shall die. Yeah, so those false prophets, the ones that are teaching our people lies, the ones that aren't prophesying, the ones that aren't giving our people warning, telling them the things that are going to happen before they happen, are going to die. Verse 21, if, And if thou shalt say in thine heart, how shall we know the word which the Lord hath not spoken? So if, of our people, you're contemplating, but how do I know who to follow? You know, here it is. <clears throat> We're constantly telling our people that RFID chip is the mark of the beast. We're telling our people World War Three is going to happen. And before these tensions even be began to come on the rise, we told you that sedition was going to happen. That these other nations, the the allies of America, was going to rise up against them. And what do you see happening? Now, if you have other prophets that are telling you of peace, telling you that bad times aren't coming, you know, and it's going to break it down. <coughs> it says, when a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass. So you got these other prophets, you got these preachers in your church telling you peace is coming. You know, World War Three is not coming. But here it is. You see, if World War Three wasn't coming, then why would it even if they were a prophet, then why would it be talked about in the news? Why is it? Why is that on the rise? Because you have the true men of the Lord prophesying about it, speaking the words of the Lord, and the Lord is going to perform the things which He has spoken. Nor come to pass. That's the thing which the Lord have not spoken, but the prophet have spoken it presumptuously. Thou shalt not be afraid of him. So that's the thing that the Lord Yahweh by Shema Shai has not spoken. You know? Because the true men of the Lord words are going to come to pass. They're going to be speaking the words of prophecy. I'm going to um, bring a couple more scriptures. I'm going to close it out. Second Ezra 15. I'm read verse 2 again. And cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. Yes. So these words are faithful and true. You know? So you have to have the gift. You have to be given the gift of faith. To believe on these words, you know, because what, um, the R we know the RFID ship is once again the mark of the beast, but what it's not made mandatory yet, you know. You having these other guys saying this is the mark of the beast, things that already been made mandatory. They're saying Christianity is the mark of the beast. They're saying all this nonsense, you know. So it takes faith to believe in that, you know. It takes faith, you know. You may never see a chariot. A so-called UFO. It takes faith to believe that that's us. That's the heavenly vehicles. You know, it takes faith to believe in these things. And how do you believe? You believe them through the word. What does the scripture say, though? You know, not what not what man saith, but what the scriptures are saying. So the scriptures say, "Let the most high be true, and every man a liar." You know, we are just reading out the Bible, and it reads, "For fear not the imaginations against thee." Let not the incredulity of the, uh, them trouble thee that speak against thee. You know, so we're not going to fear any wicked imagination that you people may have. You know, our, we're not going to fear the unbelief that you may have. We're not going to let that trouble us. You're non-believers. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Just as we have prophesied that World War Three was going to come. Um, that the Star Wars Apostle and Elves of Great Millstone. Lucky for not saying that, you know, starting where Apostle and Oz, Great Musto, and the men on down, you know, uh, we have prophesied that World War Three is going to come, that there's going to be famine, race riots, martial law troops, you know, when all these things come to pass, you know, and they will, you know, the same with those of the non believers, they're going to die in their unfaithfulness, you know, so that's a given. This is Ezekiel 33. In 33, and when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. Yeah, then they should have known. Then they're going to know a prophet have been among them. And they're going to realize, you know, how much they should have paid attention. How much they should have been uh, writing notes down on their sword. How much they should have been praying to Yahweh by Shema Shai. But now it's going to be too late, you know, because now you realize, you know, you're supposed to, uh, you're supposed to mingle this truth with faith, you know, and to believe on the things which are not seen, you know, and that's what we're prophesying about. That's what the true men of the Lord are speaking about, you know. We're we're speaking the own things that have not happened yet. So what you have to be given that gift of faith to believe them. 
you know, but, you know, they're happening right before your very eyes. You know, it can't get any more player uh, playing there than this. You know, doors of mercy are closing with that. And we uh, give all praise and glory to the Heavenly Father and the only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Makar Kodash. The bonus to our apostles and others, a great millstone for teaching us the truth according to the Bible rule well. In peace and blessings, so for like the other nation of Israel. Thanks, time we say, Shalom.